This is the V2 windlass. We use the same deck unit for the V1, 2 and 3. Let's have a look at some of the features. This is a 316 stainless steel deck unit and stainless steel drum. Moving down to the, uh, the gypsy. All our gypsies are rope chain, pocket for the chain, grooves for the rope uh, and a control arm to press the rope in. Uh, another Lumar feature is the uh, fallback device. Uh, once the safety is off, the pull clicks into place in grooves in the gypsy. This prevents your chain from uh, falling back once it's been hauled in. Before we leave the gypsy, if we look inside the pockets, uh, there is a serial number on every gypsy. This denotes the chain type. In this case, this is 002. Uh, by looking at the manual, I know this is for a 10 millimeter DIN 766 chain. Moving below deck, we have the motor gearbox. This is our fast fit motor gearbox. This allows the fitter to offer the gearbox up, put it into place, orientate it through 360 degrees. Once it's located, uh, then you simply tighten the clamp and, and everything's finished. Before we leave that, if you note the plaque here, the long serial number on the plaque denotes exactly the type of gearbox. If your customer is unsure of what unit he has, uh, this number uh, will give us the exact product. Moving round, on the side here we've mounted two transmitters for wireless remotes. This is the transmitter for our basic wireless remote and this one is for the AA710 wireless chain counter. Moving round again to the motor side. This is a typical motor that we buy for our windlasses and our winches. Uh, in this case it's a dual direction so it's got two power wires on D2 and D1 and the negative lead onto A2 and then that's energized by a dual direction contactor. On deck we have two of our typical foot switches. We also have the SX Rangers foot switch which is totally waterproof. Coming around to the side, I'll demonstrate the uh, AA560 chain counter which we supply. This can be preset for the depth of chain you require and also in the other direction can be set with an offset to stop the anchor in this case at one and a half meters before it hits the stem head. Then if I preset again to the 5 meters preset depth, press the button, it will automatically let out that amount of chain. This chain counter is also available in the 710 totally wireless handheld version. Before we leave this, finally the Lumar remote, we do this in a 3 and 5 button. It's just a simple wireless remote. Press the on button. It performs the same function.